Mackenzie is left fighting for her life next week, following her shock collapse in Salt. Business co-owner Felicity was giving Mac both barrels, as she accused of her taking sides following her split from husband Tane. When Mac offered Tane a room at the farmhouse, he then proceeded to start sleeping with other women, with Flick feeling that Mac was enabling Tane to move on from the marriage that she was so desperately trying to rekindle. After overhearing Cash and Eden talking about Tane's antics, Flick stormed over to Salt to have it out with Mac, who soon began suffering chest pains. Complaining that she couldn't breathe, Mac then collapsed into the arms of paramedic comb bartender Xander as he ordered Cash to call an ambulance. As we return to the scene next week, Flick watches on in shock as Xander realizes that Mac has no pulse. Cash races downstairs to get the club's defibrillator, and by the time the ambulance arrives, Mac is at least conscious. As paramedic Carla whisks Mac away, Flick asks Xander if Mac had a heart attack, and whether she had caused it. Xander cannot say for certain, but points out that the added stress certainly wouldn't have helped the situation. Nurse Dana is straight in at the deep end in her very first shift at Northern District's hospital, as Carla hands Mac over to Dr. Bree. It's soon their turn to save Mac's life as she suddenly crashes again, but Bree is thankfully able to shock Mac back into a normal rhythm. A concerned Cash and Flick are soon in the waiting room, but when Tane shows up all hell breaks loose. As Flick confronts Tane about his sleeping with other women, Bree is forced to order them outside. When Mac comes around, Bree tells her that her whilst her heart went into an abnormal rhythm, the initial test results don't appear to show a particular reason for it. As Bree updates Tane and Molly, Kyle Schilling, she explains that they've had to seek advice from a specialist. Enter Dr. Levi Fowler, a cardiothoracic surgeon from the city. Bree is surprised when he introduces himself having only rang a colleague for a possible referral, but he explains the case was passed on to him and he loves a mystery. Meanwhile, as Tane and Molly sit with their housemate Mac, a sheepish Flick returns to the hospital. Tane quickly decides to leave, and although Flick attempts to apologize for their earlier argument, he doesn't want to hear it. Flick then tries to talk to Mac but doesn't have much more luck. I can't do this anymore, Mac interjects as Flick asks how she's feeling. I can't be in the middle of you and Tane, Felicity. Flick attempts to apologize, but Mac asks her to leave. When Mac is introduced to Dr. Levi, he admits that he has no idea what has caused her heart attack, but promises he'll get to the bottom of it. Dana is quick to sing Levi's praises when she updates Harper and Irene on Mac. It turns out she worked with him before at St. Christopher's Hospital in the city, but given the scandal which surrounded her departure, she hopes that he doesn't recognize her when she heads into work the next day. Mac panics when Levi explains that he's concerned about one of her arteries and will need to perform some exploratory surgery. As her pulse races, Levi successfully manages to talk Mac down with his smooth bedside manner. When Mac comes to after surgery the next morning, Levi is the first face she sees, who tells her that she had suffered from SCAD, a spontaneous coronary artery dissection. Her left coronary artery had a tear which had caused a blood clot, but Levi explains that a stent has been fitted, and assures her that she has her whole life ahead of her. Meanwhile, Dana is on edge when she ends up in a lift with Levi, but assumes that a high-flying surgeon wouldn't remember a lowly nurse like herself. But not only does Levi recognize her face, but after a moment of thought he remembers her name. You're Dana Matheson, he twigs. That's me, the stolen drugs nurse, Dana jokes wishing the ground would swallow her up, before quickly explaining that she had been set up and all charges were dropped. That seems to matter to Levi however, he's not a fan of gossip. The only thing that he's bothered about is patient care, and he knows that she's great at her job. Dane is moved as he wishes her good luck with her new start, and it seems it's a good day for all at Northern Districts. Levi has already gained a couple of fans at work. Which is just as well given that he's set to stick around in Summer Bay, with actor Tristan Gorey being the latest addition to the show's regular cast. I have enjoyed the last four months, Western Australian native Tristan told Perth Now as his debut aired on Australian screens back in November. 